uh, challenges uh, trying to slow down Lamar Jackson and this Ravens offense? Uh, really big challenge, man. I think everybody in the league and reporters know how dangerous the guy is, and um, uh, that's a great challenge for us, and we, you know, we're ready to rise to the occasion. Carl, it's obviously only a few days from you getting to play another game. What regular season? What do you think it'll be like Sunday, one o'clock for you? I think a regular football game. Just trying to go out there, execute. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be anything, anything different. Any actual emotions going out there, considering what happened to you a year ago? No, nah, I mean it's happened before, so you know I'm just I'm just really happy that my family gets to be there. That's the that's probably the biggest emotion is that uh, my family get to come watch me play. Uh, Dad hasn't seen me play in like a long time. I need so it's just it's just really big emotion that way. But as far as like the play and the game and stuff like that, we get you know um, get 17 opportunities this year, so it's not anything crazy about this one. With the kind of scheme they run offensively and the different running, you know, zone reads and all that, so how much stress does that put on, like, the defensive ends in particular? Because especially in this scheme, you're crashing up field all the time. Mm, a great observation. Uh, it puts a lot of stress, but, I mean, it's, it puts a lot of stress on all defenses because if you notice, like, you know, um, people have – every, everybody in the league has to, has to play this offense a, a different way. So it's – it's not even just our scheme. It's it's everybody, and not necessarily change everything you do, but you you have to respect it. Carl, what's a successful season for you? I mean, I know you want 100 sacks, you know, so mm. you're probably not going to get that. But <laughs> what's a successful season for you after last year and everything? I think a successful season for me is just getting better. Each, you know, definitely getting better, um, helping the team win, going to the playoffs, things like that. You know. Um, being my best self, you know, um, I, I really would feel bad about my circumstances if I didn't give it my all, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when I look back at it, um, I'm going to do everything I can do, and I'm doing everything I can do. So I'm never truly disappointed. I'm disappointed, you know, because we don't get everything we want uh, in life, but I, I'm not like, you know, I'm not kicking myself sometimes because uh, for misfortunes because I, I know I, I did what I could do, you know. So I think that's maybe, maybe if that best answers your question. But why is it so important that your family's here? Because my dad's uh, is a big part of my life. I'm, you know, my mom's coming up soon too. It's just, and you know, it's just, you never know when you could pop. I thought I was going to lose him a while ago. You know, um, right, like right when I kind of right around time. I think after I signed my contract, and I was like, dang, like he wouldn't even get to see me play as a Jet. So I mean, that was, you know. I think that's why it's important to me because you never know when your last opportunity for anything is. And so it's just, you know, and he, he, you know, he wants to come watch you play. So I think that's why it's important. What, uh, if I could ask, what was his situation? He got died. Uh, it was COVID and okay. it was, it was really, really bad. And so I think, uh, you know, Connor Hughes did a piece on it the other day. It was kind of kept quiet, but he, it was, it was really, really bad. He was in the hospital for like forever. And, uh, there were some days you just didn't know. Um, and so it was, I really wanted to just come watch me play for that kind of particular reason. What do you, I guess before the kickoff, you'll, look, you'll, look, you'll find him in the stands or something? What do you, what do you plan on? Maybe. I just, as long as I know it's there, I'm not going to lie. I'll be focused on the game. You know, I'm not going to be like, you know, right. where's Pops at. But, you know, um, I, I'll, I'll know he's, you know, got everything coordinated. Before he was sick, did he, would he routinely go to every game? No, nah, he, didn't, he didn't get a chance to go to – not not the uh, NFL games, but all my college games he was, you know. He's from Atlanta. Atlanta. Yes, sir. You were in the division, obviously, against Lamar and Greg Roman. All the stuff they do, Lamar's great talent and Greg Roman's play calling. The eye candy, I guess, guys like to call it. How do you deal with that in that? As a defense gets sucked into misdirection, things like that. You, everybody has to do their job, and then when it's, it is misdirection, it just makes the job harder for everybody. Um, so... It's kind of just all 11 to the ball. And when things do go wrong, all 11 to the ball, that's the best way you can make up for it. It's so just, you know, um, yeah. And it, are they even more dangerous in week one because it's like a three-month game plan and they're doing the last? No, they're dangerous throughout the whole year, you know, because it's just such a, it's such a unique style. Like when, they, when a quarterback's the best athlete on the field, that's, it's not, that's, that's a rarity, you know. So, I mean, it's, just a, it's, it's not just week one. It's, it's all year long. Is it like facing 12 guys on offense? If that's if you want that to be your quote, then yeah, I agree with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>